I came down to Muscle Rock from San Francisco to check out the geology along the San Andreas Fault. Here at the top of West Line Drive you can see Muscle Rock from the row of houses, some of which apparently have fallen over in the past, like this one here. On the particular day Muscle Rock was quite foggy and a bit grisly. This poor bloke decided not to actually jump, he just stood there for 20 minutes waiting. So I made my way down to Muscle Rock. You can see it here. It's an example of a geological horse, which is rock material trapped between fault lines. Muscle Rock itself is near the earthquake's epicenter in 1906, and the San Andreas Fault runs out to sea here before joining up again at Marin County. So I went down to the roadway, which takes me to the car park. Very rough, of course, because of the effects of the San Andreas Fault. They had surveying equipment there, they were checking on fault movements I imagine, using laser equipped um, equipment, and I was absolutely amazed at the condition of the car park itself. Very rough, they don't bother doing it up anymore because it just keeps changing all the time with the movements of the fault. So there are different levels, cracks everywhere totally uneven. Here's an example of a rather large crack right down the middle of the car park itself. The car park is where a lot of the uh, dump trucks turn around. That's a one dime piece in the photo which is roughly equivalent to a 10 cent piece in Australia. This water channel doesn't look the best either. Lots of funny levels, cracks, all over it, presumably caused by the fault. And these houses on top, I wouldn't live there if you paid me. Then I went back to San Francisco to check out Clara Street. This is in an area where the soil is subsiding and therefore the buildings are subsiding as well, like this one here. They have to keep building up the street level, so windows which were once much higher and now very close to street level. That is absolutely amazing when you look at that one there. So they keep building up the street level and therefore the houses on the side get lower and lower in comparison. Look at these ones, I wouldn't know which one was actually vertical. They're all totally skew width different angles completely. In this particular car park you can see the effect of the subsidence all over the place. The wall is totally cracked, nothing is level, it's been patched so many times. I hate to think what will happen when the big one strikes at some time in the future.